I drew the same house every time. Red door with a white picket fence. I think my mother thought I had no imagination, but really, all I wanted was that house. So, I kept drawing it. I guess I thought that one day it would become real, you know, like Pinocchio becoming a real boy. And who knows, maybe someday it will. Maybe Santa Claus will bring me one for Christmas. No, a house is way too big to fit on Santa's sleigh. <laughs> Good point. Yes, you're right. That is way too big a present. Unless you get a baby doll's house, couldn't you? Oh, I didn't think of that. This is my picture. There's my red door and my white picket fence. I had some flowers in the front yard. This was my dream. What's yours? Paint me a picture. a lot of work. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Wow. He's got great potential. Are you and I looking at two different houses here? Oh, come on. The wagon wheel, yeah. Ooh. I think, what if? Do you think that there's any way to, like, make the kitchen bigger? Well, if this wall can be moved, which it will, fly that one, that one, and that one. But all but this is a supporting wall. But the answer to that question is yes. So we'd have this, like, big kitchen in here. It would be a very large kitchen, yes. Yeah. I, I, I really like it. I really like it. You like it that much? I just think we could do so much with it. Let's go upstairs. Come on. Right. Let's go kick the tires, honey. This has to go. So you know the extra bedroom, right? Yeah. Well, we'll use it as a guest bedroom, mm -hmm. but we could also use it as your office. That would be great. That would be great, right? Oh, I would love to have an office. And you know the wall on the south side of the bedroom? Uh -huh. If we remove that, you got a walk-in closet. I, I've never had a walk-in closet in my life. Just a little coat of paint. It'll be just like brand new. See? I knew it. This is the perfect house. Yeah. I feel really, really good about this. Connie, we got to get these out right away. Oh. Don't you think midnight blue is the perfect color for a really classy car? You're looking at a very expensive luxury vehicle there. Well, I figure if I'm gonna dream, I might as well dream big. Well, dream away. Uh, Connie, these need to go in the mail today. You don't think I'm ever gonna have that kind of car, do you? Sure. Why not? You've made a great start coming to work every morning. <laughs> How about answering the phone, huh? Nolan Mortgage and Loan. So you can see in Skylight? How cool is that? It's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so you're gonna open up the kitchen. It'll be huge. There'll be tons of light and French doors that open out onto the patio. Patio? Yeah, the one you're gonna build. Okay. A patio it will be then. Patio, right. You know, I was thinking about using the work that I'm doing as sort of a calling card, you know, for my company. You know, people that want to see what I can do can come see the amazing work that I'm doing on my fiance's place and, uh, and hire, what do you think about this? Conroy Construction. I think that is a great idea. Good. I love it. I love it, too. Should I do it? Oh, I think you should definitely do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. Here it goes. Hi, this is Michelle Brown. Um, I visited one of your uh, properties today, and I would like to make an offer. <laughs> yes, I'll hold. What if I don't make enough money for a loan? You're a teacher. Teachers get homes all the time. Why can't you? Oh, we have so much debt 
Michelle, nice to meet you. Barry Nolan. Hi, nice to meet you. Now relax, because we specialize in first-time buyers. I'm confident we're gonna find a loan just perfect for you guys. Okay. Have a seat. <gasps> Thanks. Can I get you anything? Coffee or a tea? Yeah. Uh, will this be all for you? Yeah. I love that skirt. It's one of our best sellers. It'll be fifty-three twenty-four. Sometimes you see something like a skirt or a dress, and it's just like you have to have it. You know, it's, you feel like your whole life better. I could have one of everything in here. Um, I'm sorry, this card isn't going through. Another card, maybe, or you could pay cash. Oh no, just run it through again. Sometimes. Sure. Mm. I'm sorry. Declined. Okay. Oh, you know why? Because I bought a lot of things yesterday. <clears throat> oh, okay. Sure. But hold it. Absolutely stunning. Gonna look stunning on you. Thank you. Now look at that. Can you see the sparkle to it? It is just amazing. What woman would not want to go out on date and have this sparkle and bring out her eyes? Well, it is amazing that they don't ask for identifying birthmarks and surgery scores. <laughs> I mean, they want everything. I and mean, they want your former home addresses for the last 150 years. I'm surprised they don't want your great grandmother's blood type, <laughs> dog's blood type, the paw print, right? Sign the whole thing in blood. Hi, Gretchen. Good morning, Michelle. Hi. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? Good, I'm good. Sorry. How was the house? You were supposed to call me. I know. I told you I was going to, but um, I was filling out loan papers. <clears throat> oh, my God. You're buying it? I am buying it. Oh, my God. It's so good. It is so great. I love this house. It's it, it's going to need a ton of work. I mean, a ton. But Justin is going to do the whole thing himself. <sighs> well, why can't I ever find a boyfriend who knows what to do with his hands? <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I mean. Brown, I met you the other day. I remember. Um, I just wanted to hand deliver this loan application since we're on such a tight schedule, a 30 day escrow. Oh. It seems like no time at all. Well, I'll, I'll give it to Barry as soon as he gets back. Oh. Anything else? Um, no, I'm sorry. It's just I've never done this before. You know, bought a house, it's a little overwhelming. Well, yeah, I, I hear that from a lot of people. 
Really? Yeah, even though it's always been my dream to own a house ever since I was a little girl. Isn't that silly? I don't know, most kids want a pony or a bike or a skateboard. Me, I want a house. <laughs> Just seems like a good life can be built in a good house, you know? Well, that's what you'll have. Yes! <sighs> well, Barry will call you, you know, as soon as he gets your loan. Okay, thank okay. you. I don't know your name. Connie. Connie. Thank you so much, Connie. That color is actually butternut. This is uh, sage green for the bathroom. Very subtle, but I think you'll love it. I trust you. I just want to say thank you. For? Just for being so excited for me and supporting me and making this house so beautiful. You just be amazing. Okay. Kiss me. And then grab this. order things at home because I have a computer before I couldn't get it because I only ordered like at work. Where do you want this? Right there. Thank you. 
Cheers. What do you want on your pizza? Extra olives. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure. Of course, credit card. I mean, who buys anything without a credit card these days? <laughs> Michelle Brown. Mm. Four, six, eight, seven, four, seven, three, eight, eight, nine, five, two. Right here. Medium pepperoni and a medium vegetarian. Our hero. Thank you so much. Oh, I have to get my purse. It's 3175 now. Oh, shoot. I know, I, I told you I was going to give you cash. Can I give you a credit card instead? Sure. Just got to call it in. I can pay, babe. No. I've got cash. No. You helped me all day. This is on me. Oh, yum. I'm sorry, ma'am, but your card's been denied. What? That's weird. Um, okay, here, uh... Try this one. That's strange. It's a technical glitch. Scary, what do you want? Vegetarian. Veggie? Thank you. Send one through. Do you want... Yeah, oh, good. Thank goodness. Um, there was, uh, my card was denied last night, and I just wanted to check on that because I always pay my bills on time, so there must be a mistake. I... Yeah, it's 4687-3654-4587-3654. It, Michelle Brown. My mother's maiden name is Statler. Well, no, I have a $5,000 limit. I can't be over that. <laughs> How much? Computer store? No, I, didn't, I haven't... How much was that? No. No, I have not been to an electronics store. What? Jewelry? No. No, none of that is mine. I have not... I, no, I haven't lent this card to anybody. I never give out my credit cards to anybody. I just don't get it. I mean, how could somebody get my credit card number? Well, who knows? It was probably a restaurant or something like that. I mean, you know you don't always take the receipt. Yeah. Well, that's probably it, but you cancel the card, and they're not going to make you pay for everything, are they? Well, I don't know. Now they said they have to do a fraud investigation. Well, there you go. They'll take care of it. They'll sort it out. I guess. It's not all bad, babe. You know, it is a beautiful day today. I can put the skylights in. That is enough to make me smile. Next. What could I do for you? Uh, I lost my license. Uh-huh. Do you remember the number, or do I have to look it up? No, I have it right here. You're gonna need your social security number, your name, as it appeared on the old license and your current mailing address. Oh, but I just moved. Is that gonna be a problem? Fill out the line that says new address and take that over to station three that way. Next. What can I do for you? Trim's gonna be off white. Oh, but not the door. I know. Your dream. Mm. Oh, this is great. What'd you do upstairs? Uh, it's a secret. Really? Did you fix up the bedroom? mistake on my bill. I thought you canceled your card. This is my other account. We never order from Chef Benedino's pizza. 
What? I've never even heard of that place. And look, there's a shoe store charge on here that isn't mine. $260 for jewelry? This is ridiculous. It's our best seller. Small enough to be fuel efficient, large enough to hold loads of groceries, kids. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. Whoa. Well, <laughs> that's the easiest sale I've had in six months. <laughs> I know what I like. <laughs> Follow me. Someone about a credit card theft. Someone stole your cards? No, someone's been using my numbers to buy things. Hey, Ray. Yeah? You speak to this lady? Yeah. Hi. Ray Lucci, what can I do for you? Someone who's been charging thousands of dollars on my credit cards. Did you close all your accounts? Yes. Well, that should do it. What, that's it? You're not going to do anything about it? You know, if we investigated even, let's say, 1% of all the credit card fraud cases that came across our desk, the city of Denver was shut down completely. There wouldn't be any cops around to do anything else. Well, yeah, but I don't know how these people got my numbers or what else they might be planning. You canceled all your cards, right? Yes, I canceled the cards. Well, in all likelihood, you should be fine. I hope so. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Wow. Is something wrong? No, no, on the contrary. I'm just impressed with your credit. Really impeccable. <laughs> I just wish everyone was as responsible. Thank you. Because it is so hard to get your credit rating reinstated once there's been a problem. Oh, you have no idea, Michelle. May I call you Michelle? Sure, that's my name. <laughs> You know, some people call me Mimi. That was just like a childhood nickname there. It sort of stuck. Mm. My father calls me Shelly, but I really don't like it very much. But he's the only one. Okay. Here's the interest rate we agreed on. There's the terms of the contract. And that's where I need your signature. Wow. <laughs> you make it so easy. It's my job. can do that this sort of thing happens all the time well there's got to be something you can do I mean, you retrace your steps over the last few months who could have gotten your information oh my god of course hi Gretchen it's Michelle yeah listen I know this is really last minute but I'm gonna have to take a personal day today yeah, so can you uh, try to find a sub for my class? Great. Okay, thank you. And Yeah, and tell the kids that I'll see them tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Bye. Connie, what are you doing? I was going to leave you a note. I have to quit. You ever heard of a two-week notice? Something came up. What? I got another job. <laughs> Where I'll make a lot more money. And you couldn't come to me and, and, and have a conversation? I gave you this job when you really needed it. I know. And I'm grateful, okay? But there's just something else. Yeah? Barry, I've been here almost a year, and I see people come in here, and they get a lot of money to buy a house, and it makes them happy. 
and I get to stay here for 20 years, and I'm never going to be able to buy a house or a new car instead of an old one, or even walk into a store and buy a scarf because I want to. So what's the point? I mean, what do I get? You know? Where is she? Who, uh, Connie? She stole my information. She's using my credit cards. Now, just calm down. What, what are you talking about? I need you to give me her address. Now, we don't have any proof that she's using your credit card numbers. I've never had any trouble with her, with anything she's ever Did heard Did she with leave in a hurry? Yeah, but I, I still don't think that that's got anything. I'm going to the police with my suspicions. You can either give me the information or you can talk directly to them. to know that this is against my better judgment. Well, you should have thought of that when you hired her. Brown, leave it at the really, really stupid. I know, but I just thought if I could talk to her, I, I don't know. I... Sit down. <sighs> Give me your name. Connie Volkos. Connie Volkos. I mean, I talked to her when I dropped out the loan application. She seemed like an okay person. Connie Volkos has been convicted of possession of a controlled substance numerous times, which means she has a drug habit. Forgery, burglary. I mean, this was the person you were going to talk to. Does this Connie Volkos have your current address? Yes. I would strongly suggest you change all the locks on your doors. Let's see what other damage she's done. Yeah. It's a great bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I love that patio. Off in the attached bathroom. 
So, like I said, all new appliances, all new fixtures, neutral colors running throughout. What more can I say? I think you're going to be very happy here, Miss Brown. <laughs> of course I will. <sighs> it's really pretty. So, we will need first and last and a security deposit, that's 6,000. And we've just got a standard lease, year term. Utilities, gas, maid. Oh, maid? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Cable. That's cool. Just need your printed and your signature. Here's your credit report. Take it home and have a look at it. You're gonna find Connie's fingerprints all over the place. You're also gonna have to file a fraud alert and contest a number of items. You also need to call the Social Security Administration, the Federal Trade Commission. Of course, you'll close all your bank accounts, ATMs, credit cards. <clears throat> Is this the woman? Yes. Oh, my God. They gave her my license? We don't even look anything alike. Okay, so I need those thighs. Mm -hmm. Exactly like that. I want to look exactly like that when I wear shorts or a bathing suit. Okay? I don't want to walk out of here with anything not as good as that. I told you what to expect from liposuction, okay? We'll do our best. I'll see you next door. This woman is not me. You issued a duplicate license without checking it against the original. So how do I know you're the real Michelle Brown? Because you say so? Fill up this questionnaire, sign the oath on the back, uh, provide us with copies of a recent phone or utility bill to prove you're living at the address you claim to be living at, passport or birth certificate. Next. So checks for your new account will come in the mail within the next two weeks, and then your new ATM card in a separate mailing. Okay, and what about my direct deposit? Because my paychecks get put directly into my checking account every month when we close the old account. No problem. I'll file the paperwork. You give your new account number to your employer. Everything should be fine. Don't worry, this happens all the time. I can't believe how much ID theft we see. Really? Yeah. So I'll take care of this and everything should be great. Thank you. And what's your name? Susan. Susan. Okay, Thanks, have a great day. You too. Yes, hi. Um, I need to report an identity theft on my credit card. Um, it is Michelle Brown, 5369 yeah, hi. Um, I need to put a fraud alert on my credit report. Michelle Brown. Yes, I'm still holding. I, I'm trying to tell you that a credit card was taken out in my name by somebody else, and I'm not going to be held responsible for all that merchandise. Yes, I'll hold. Unbelievable. No, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I did not set up phone service at 1405 Getty Place. No, somebody impersonating me set up that service. No, 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 don't put me on hold. Hey, maybe you should try this later. Later is not going to cut it, Justin. I'm working on erasing $30,000 worth of debt this woman's racked up in my name. 30? Wow, someone's been busy. Pick up your garbage when you're done. Thank you. Guys. I spent all day yesterday trying to convince people that I am who I say I am, and Connie's not, and that I'm not responsible for her debts. But who's the victim here, and who's the criminal? I know. Jeez. Uh-oh. Oh, look out, look out. Oh, oh. Did you shoot? Oh, oh, what a thing! How can you be so upbeat after all of this? Uh, no, I just, you know, I notified who I had to notify. I canceled what I needed to cancel, and... Hopefully that'll do it. Oh, the only thing I have to do still is uh, let Gretchen know how to reroute my paychecks. Will you be okay in the field for five yes, minutes? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. Oops, sorry. Hey, don't forget we have that Mexico meeting today after school. Oh, right, right. See ya. Right, five minutes. Okay, so this will ensure that my next paycheck will go directly into the new accounts. That's the plan. I'll send the paperwork in today. It's just I, I want to make sure because I, I don't have any reserves in my checking account and I have a mortgage now, so... Oh, I know. We're all one paycheck away from being broke. <laughs> well, okay. I gotta go, but, um, thank you. Okay.
Elvis Park Elementary, can I help you? Yes. Boys. Yes, yes, uh, let me get that number. San Saldano is on the Gulf Coast of Mexico, and St. Mariana's is about 45 minutes out of town. Now, I've picked this school because they are a model of project-based learning. I mean, these teachers have realized that standardized tests and drills and repetition don't produce true learning. Something I wish our school system would realize. Oh, my God, it is so beautiful. Christine, this is work. We are there to observe and take notes. But anyone who doesn't bring a bathing suit is crazy. The beaches are amazing. <laughs> This is Ray DeLucci. Ray DeLucci, yeah. Do I know you? Uh, no, but um, I've heard an awful lot about you, and I thought we could maybe take this opportunity to uh, get acquainted. Why would I want to do that? Because I've got something to offer you. Something you need. <laughs> I hope it's money. I'm offering you help. Oh, yeah? What kind of help? Hmm? A little case of identity theft. Hey! Hi. I have a surprise for you. What? I'm not gonna show you until you get inside. Oh, boy. So, when we get inside the house, you uh -huh. have to close your eyes, okay? And don't look okay. at anything. All right. Close you don't have to now. close them now. Yeah, you're... <laughs> Okay, no, no, don't, don't, don't look, don't look, don't look. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right, I'm closing okay, them. I'll oh, lead you. Boy. Just follow my lead. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, what is it? Oh, my God. Oh. Well, don't cry. Oh. You're supposed to be happy. Me. Connie, don't hang up. There's no way I know who you are, but it won't hurt to hear me out. Listen, you can't tell me anything I'd be interested in hearing. So, bye. Bye. <sighs> you see, that's smart. What do I do when interest rates have been all time low? Procrastinate my middle name, and now, when I need to take some money out of the house, I'm gonna be paying a point and a half more. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Ouch. You should try an equity line of credit. Excuse me? I, I just, I heard what you were talking about, and the, it, the interest rates are variable, and they start very uh, low. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> okay. I really want to jump into I was just telling you because I work in a, a loan office, so I always hear this all day long. You know, Barry, the guy that I work for, he goes on and on about it, so. <laughs> I would, but this is a private conversation. <laughs> anyway, so I really want to jump in this place because I don't blah, want to Blah, 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 blah. Talk it away. It's a conversation, really. This is you talking and your friends are trained to listen, I guess. I don't know. Hello, 
Michelle Brown. You know, maybe everything's going your way now, Connie, but sooner or later you're bound to crash. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Do you really think you can make people believe you're Michelle Brown? Do you? I don't think so, Connie. You know what? Like, who cares what you think? The clock is ticking, Connie. Now, sooner or later, we are going to catch up with you, and when we do, you're going to need someone on your side. Now, I could be that guy. Michelle Brown and I did not buy a new SUV. Is this Michelle Brown of 554 El Morado Place? Yes, but I didn't buy a new SUV. If we do not receive your payment on this outstanding balance within 10 business days, we'll be forced to forward your account to a collection agency. <laughs> and your credit you are credit. not listening to me. I did not buy a new car. Is this not Michelle Brown? It was about two months ago, I think. It was a brand new SUV, and the woman who called me was from West Federal Bank. Yeah. Oh, hi, honey. No. No, I can't make it that early. I'll forget that. Yeah, I told you I'd meet you at the restaurant. Sir, if you just type it in real quick. Well, well, well listen, I got another call. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> really? For sure? Okay, wait a second. I got another one. Hey, honey, how'd you? Hey, I was just talking to Cal. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll celebrate that way later. Okay, good. I'm really happy for you. Okay, Congratulations. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you call me back. Bye bye. What was the name again? <sighs> Michelle Brown. Michelle Brown. Oh, I see why they called you. This account is delinquent. But I didn't buy that car. How do I know that? Hi, I'm Michelle Brown. I'm hoping you can help me. I'll see what I can do. Well, I lost all my checks in the move. Um, but I always keep the account number in a separate place. Excellent. I see that this account has been closed. Miss Brown? <laughs> of course it's closed. That was so silly of me because I closed it because I lost all the checks. It's, in the move, it's just hard to, to, to keep track. Thank you, though. Thank you very much. Miss Brown. No, it's okay. Thanks. Uh, Miss Brown, we can open an another account. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Michelle Brown. That's not Michelle Brown. Look who the cat dragged in. Shut up, Ed. <laughs> no surprise he'd be back. I made a deal with Harlan. Didn't I, Harlan? I said, my baby sister, she'll never make it on her own. I did. Oh, for such a short while. You know what they say. Water seeks its own level, and here you are, right back in the swamp. <laughs> I need money, is all. What's new? 
Well, I have a perfect opportunity for you to make some. Come on in. She bought a car from West Denver Auto. Great. It is? I'm missing why it's great. Well, because now we got the VIN number, the vehicle description, and we can get this to all units. Okay, so now you have her name, you know what she looks like, and you know what car she's driving. Yep. So you can pick her up. Well, eventually. Eventually's not soon enough. Listen, Michelle, what we don't know is where she is. There's no end in sight, is there? I didn't say that. Hey. Hey, how'd it go? Well... <laughs> She bought a duplicate of my SUV, same make, same color, only I have to pay for it. You're not gonna have to pay for it if you explain to them what happened. Justin, I was there explaining. What do you think I was doing? Hey, calm down. I'm the guy on your side here, remember? I gotta go. Sorry. Where are you, where are you going? Mrs. Bennett saw what I did to your house, so she wants an estimate. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's great. Couldn't muster a little more enthusiasm for me? Sorry. That's... You go. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Bye. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, my God. I don't understand. She brought this picture with her? Yes, she did. People often bring in pictures. It helps me visualize what people want. Oh, my God. She's trying to become me. Locked, Michelle. Slow down. She's obviously been watching me. She took my picture. Okay? Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just stop saying that? Just trying to calm you down. Oh, why? Because if I calm down, then this entire mess will disappear? That's not what I'm saying. Maybe if I calm down, then we'll discover that I'm the crazy person. Yeah, well, you are acting a little crazy right now. Oh, okay. Well, maybe if I calm down, I'll figure out that Connie is just a figment of my imagination. No, if you calm down, maybe you and I can have a decent conversation. You're not getting it. Yeah, you're right. I am not getting it. There is no way to figure this out! Ugh! I'm sorry. I shouldn't have run off like that. I, I just feel like that I'm losing you. I feel like I'm losing everything. It's a letter from the bank. I have insufficient funds. How can this happen? My direct deposit, my salary check didn't get there. Look, we'll talk to Gretchen about it. Did you hear me? My mortgage check bounced. I understand. I have done everything right. I mean, I have called everybody they told me to call. I stayed on top of it. I did the paperwork. I canceled everything I was supposed to cancel. And this, this woman.
she's awful. And I'm just afraid I'm going to lose this house. You're not going to lose this house. This has been my dream my entire life, ever since I was a little kid. And, and I have planned for it, and I have waited for it, and I have saved up for it. And it's... It's not fair, because I've done everything right, you know? I know, baby. I can't lose it. And I'm sorry I broke the picture. That can be fixed. Check out the driver. Ma'am, you realize you were speeding? No, I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm gonna need to see your driver's license and registration. Could you please remove your glasses? Registration, please. Where are the you? Uh... Ma'am, please put your hands on the steering wheel and keep them there. Can you run a check on a Colorado plate? Queen Union X ray 3186. Sergeant Rob, remove that driver from the vehicle. 10 4. Walk around to the front of the vehicle. Place your hands on the front of the vehicle. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney who you cannot afford. Do you understand the rights as I've explained them to you? Yes, sir. Requesting backup. Drug bust in progress. Gretchen? My checks have not been going into my new account. No? No. Uh, I'm sure I sent the paperwork in. At least I'm pretty sure. Gretchen, I need the money in my checking account to pay my mortgage. Well, why don't we just redo the form and fax it in today? How's that? That should do the trick. Why, you're late. Get in class. Michelle Brown, you were to be bound over on $50,000 bail. You were charged with possessing a controlled substance for sale or distribution. Can your client make bail? No, Your Honor. She has no financial resources. Very well. He will remain in custody until a court date is determined. Next. Sorry. Michelle. She got lipo suction at my expense, and she signed a lease. Look at this. One of them is for $5,350, and the other is $24,000. It doesn't matter. Well, maybe not to you. You're not the one who has to pay it. It's over. What do you mean? She was busted drug trafficking 700 pounds of marijuana. She's in jail? According to the New Mexico Highway Patrol, and they haven't lied to me yet. Do they know about the identity theft? That's why they called me. So you're saying it's over? Something like that. <sighs> oh. Okay, you two. It's only for three days. Okay, I'll see you Saturday. Look, I think this is a celebration of this nightmare being over, okay? Oh, Justin, I am so sorry. I have been such a lunatic lately. Let's go. Come on, we're going. You can make it up to me when you get back. Okay. 
show up in court Friday morning at 9 a.m. You don't leave the jurisdiction for any reason. Sign here. Name of bail, Ed Volkos. Hmm. Stay out of trouble, Michelle. Oh, yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> in a class about proportions. You know, it's easier for children to learn uh, by experience and seeing the things and touching them rather than just, you know, being on the board and, you know, pay attention to me and keep quiet. They have to be involved in what they're learning in order to remember it. So we're working on some proportions today. So I hope you enjoy your visit here at our school. Have Thank fun. you. Thank you. Bye. adios a los maestras. Adios. Look at this, Christine. I mean, look, there isn't one child who isn't totally involved in what's going on. What do you mean? No staring into space? <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't think I was in a classroom without that. Oh my God, I almost lost all of this. What? Just this joy. Ed? Yeah, I know it was you made my bail. What do you mean, keep my mouth closed? Well, what am I supposed to go to prison for those friggin' idiots you worked for? Well, they're not... They're not gonna cut me a deal if I don't have anything to... Ed! Ed! Damn it! Ed! Could you please just check out my story? It's not my job. My job's to watch you until I come back to question you some more. Please, believe me. 
I can't count the number of times I've heard that line. Look, I am not the criminal here. This is a mistake. Whatever you say. <sighs> You're here. Oh, my God. Thank you. You're free to go. Oh. Connie skipped out on her bail. So they issued a warrant, but they screwed up big time because they issued it under the name she first gave them, which was, of course, yours. So where is she? Is she heading back here? We don't know. Come on. We apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah, thanks. Keep in touch. Seriously, you have to call the cops. Fine, you do that. It's important, Michelle. We can tell them what kind of car she was driving. Justin, they knew what kind of car she was driving before. They had her license plate number, they knew what she looked like, they even had her cell phone. What good did it get us? Cops can't help me. Tell me why some people are born lucky and some people just have no luck at all and why I am always on the unlucky side of it. Can you just tell me that? And that's not fair. Right? Yeah. You can get two, maybe three days on this one. Swipe it as a gas station. I don't even know if it still works. That might do good work. So, how are you going to pay for this baby, Michelle Brown? Hmm? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> well, then how are you going to pay for it? I can charge it. <laughs> nah, no. Stupid. <laughs> Givens Hi. from the Privacy Rights Clearing House. Hi, how are you? Nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <sighs> this table's free. Looks good. So, you've had quite a time. <sighs> so frustrating. It's been really hard. I'm kind of falling apart. That's not uncommon. I just feel like it's this unrelenting avalanche, you know? And I know it's coming, and I hear the rumblings, and I still can't get out of the way. And I'm getting covered by tons and tons of snow. <laughs> I mean, where's the St. Bernard with the flask of whiskey to rescue me? I'd hate to think that I'm the St. Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you hear the same story over and over. Some version of it, yes. Identity theft is the fastest growing crime in this country. Every six minutes, someone's identity is stolen. Every 
six minutes? That adds up to seven million people a year. And no one is doing anything about it? In our view, not nearly enough. What can we do to fight back? I am so glad you asked. Yeah, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I... They're dollar twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, twenty... twenty-five. So what would I have to do? Talk about what this experience has been like. Help people to see it and feel it. Do you think that would make a difference? Well, let's go to Washington and find out. Hey, you! Open the door! What? Your credit card didn't go through. Yeah, well, I'll give you another one tomorrow. I want you out of here. Yeah, okay. I just, I gotta wait until someone comes to get me. You want me to call the cops? Okay, look, I'm leaving, all right? Sure. It's just for a few days. I'll miss you. No, I know, but... Beth thinks I can really do some good. Don't you think I should go? Absolutely. I think you should tell the Senate guys what happened. Actually, the head of the Senate committee happens to be a woman. <laughs> Testifying before this committee is a way of turning this whole awful experience into something positive. Hello? Hello. I need... I need help. I need you to tell me what to do. I don't know what to do next. Who is this? It's Michelle Brown. <laughs> Hold on. You need to stop running, Connie. I made a mistake. It, it was about a drug deal, and but I was clean for a whole year. Do you believe me? I had a job, and I showed up every day. I know, I met you there, do you remember? You were so pretty. And you looked so happy. Where are you, Connie? So... <laughs> Look, maybe if you tell me where you are, then I can help you. Hang up. Shh. Connie, are you still in Denver? Connie, if you tell me where you are, I'll come to you. And then we'll figure this out together. I got a gun. I had to buy a gun. Help. I, I, I don't know what to do. Oh, God. For the past six months, a woman with my name and my social security number and my driver's license number and my credit cards 
has been living her life at my expense. And I have become responsible for every one of her criminal acts. If only she lived in a better apartment, so she rented one. If only she had a better car, so she bought a copy of mine. If only she had the right clothes. If only she could become me. Well, then all her problems would disappear. The only problem is I still exist. Is your case typical, Ms. Brown? I think so. In almost all identity theft, there's a sense of violation and repeated betrayal. But not all identity theft involves the kind of personal jeopardy that Ms. Brown has experienced. Primarily because the criminal is someone Ms. Brown knows? That's part of it, and that's not an uncommon story. Over half of all the identity theft cases involve someone the victim knows. What about the other part, Ms. Brown? Um, it's becoming clear to me that Connie Volkos is unbalanced and reckless, and I believe her behavior is escalating. She became obsessed with you? Yes. And then it becomes unadjustable. And with a 1% cap that we put on that amount, we can expand that amount within any given six-month period. Can you excuse me for just one sec? I've just got to grab this. Nolan Mortgage and Loans, Barry here. You know what? I called her, and I asked her. I asked her, I said, what would you do? Huh? What would you do? You know why she didn't even answer me? You know why? Because she doesn't... She doesn't even think I'm worth it, because that's what happens when you have nothing. Okay, just hold on a second. You know, I'm just going to grab this one in the other office. Why don't you folks have a look over that, and, uh, and I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Connie, where are you? I got a gun in my hand, Barry. Jeez, Connie. Just, no, 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 you just tell me where you are, and I'll come and help you, okay, Connie? Connie, where are you? Hey, Connie. see with you. Yeah, yeah. I threw her out hey, one. It's all right, buddy. I'll take care of it, okay? Connie? Connie, it's me, Barry. We're going to take care of it, okay? We're going to be, everything's going to be all right. It's going to be okay in there, Connie. We're here to help you. It's all right. Hey, hey, come on. It's going to be okay, Connie. Get these people out of here. Hey, hey. She's got a gun. I know. Yeah, but I heard it go off. Sir, come on. It went off, man. I was, I was, so, come on. Get these people out of here. Come on. Get me I back. heard the Get phone. I was talking to her on the telephone. And then I heard the gun go off. And then nothing. She's not a bad person. Connie, it's great to loot you. You're coming in. Connie? Connie, do you remember when I said once that I'd help you out? I think now would be a good time to take me up on that offer, Connie. Connie? I would love to. Hey. Hey. Hi. What, are you making house calls now? Yeah, well, you could say that. Come on. And it was obvious that Connie didn't want to use the gun, but uh, she didn't really see any way out either, so, so I gave her one. Which means she's in custody, right? Yeah. That's what I came by to tell you. Thank you. What if she makes bail? No, this time there won't be any bail. Really? Yeah. It's over. <sighs> there is one more thing. What? She's requested to see Michelle. It's out of the question. Well, I understand that, but 
What makes her think that after the way wait, she wait, treated at me... The, at the court? She wants me to come to the court? Yeah. All right. What? No, you... What are you thinking? I... I want to go. Go in there. Glad you find this amusing, Connie. Uh, but I'm just, it's not amusing. I'm not amused. I just. So, like she said, she would see me? That's what I said, yeah. So, what? I'm not. You find that funny? No. Settle down. What? Settle down. I really don't think this is a good idea. Thank you. Neither do I. You'll have an opportunity to make a statement in court if you wish. This is different. I'm missing something here. If Connie has something she wants to say to me, I want to hear what it is. It's done, Michelle. She pled guilty. All we're doing here today is hearing your sentence assigned. No. I have to see her face to face. He looks so nice. I had to cut my hair. It used to be long, like yours, but it was never as pretty. Do you wash it every day? Uh, yeah. That's why it looks so... Shiny and soft. Looks soft. Can I touch it? Sit down, Connie. If you try to get up again, Miss Brown is leaving. I told them I did it. I told them they didn't need a trial because I confessed. I know, they told me. Well, I wanted to tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to jail for it. I know. So you'll be relieved, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to tell you that. Thank you. <laughs> but it was only things, right? <laughs> You took more than things from me, Connie. No, but I didn't hurt you. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I didn't hurt you. I never hurt you. I mean, I, 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 I just wanted some stuff. I didn't know how to get them on my own, so I just charged a few things. That's all. I mean, I didn't have anything, and you had so much. I, I mean, if I asked you, were you going to share them with me? Were you going to help me find an apartment? Were you going to help me? Were you going to let me drive your stupid car? This meeting is no. over. Miss Brown is leaving. No! Michelle, look at me! <laughs> Look what we have here. The two Michelle Browns face to face. There is only one Michelle Brown in this room. No. We look so much alike, people couldn't tell us apart. I can. I know exactly who you are, Connie. And that person has nothing to do with me. Nothing. We are here to impose sentencing. 
And in doing so, the court needs to acknowledge that for every defendant we see, there is also a victim. Somebody has been hurt by the defendant's behavior. But on the other hand, as the country and Western song says, if you dwell on the negatives, if you focus on them, if you live with them and you wake up with them, then the world will be bleak. Connie, please. If you focus on the positives, I think the opposite is true. Put the negatives in the rearview mirror and put them in the past. I would like Michelle Brown to know... Is Miss Brown in the courtroom today? Here, Your Honor. Oh, Miss Brown. I think there are a lot worse things than this... this identity theft. Like getting hit by a truck or cancer. I want you to have a positive attitude because we all know that life ain't fair. Little advice, sir. Now to sentencing. Hey, excuse me, I know that life isn't fair, but I thought this courtroom was supposed to be. Do you wish to make a statement before sentencing, Ms. Brown? Well, I didn't intend to, but yes, I think I do. I know that there are worse things in life than identity theft. But the crime Connie Volkos committed wasn't minor. She robbed me, uh, uh, not just of things. It wasn't the possessions you took from me, Connie. She invaded my life again and again, whenever, however she wanted, forcing me to prove over and over that I wasn't the Michelle Brown committing criminal acts. Tell me what you have, Your Honor, if you don't have the sanctity of your good name. No matter what your attitude, you need to have your good name. That is what you took from me, Connie. That is no small thing. I hope that you'll keep that in mind when you pronounce sentencing. Thank you.